this time we have a special celebration and invite our, our um, baptism family to come forward at this time. We celebrate baptism in many ways to fulfill the scripture we just read. In this scripture passage, it said that we are to go forth to baptize people in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So the baptism we'll be celebrating this morning is one of the ways we live out this commissioning, this great commission. There are symbols here that maybe you have seen in other baptisms. We have the candles who represent and remind us of the light of Christ. We have the water. And some of you have been here for a long time know that in each and every time that I bring water up here, I take a little bit of the water that I got while I was in the Holy Land from the, the Jordan River where Deb and I renewed our baptism. And I pour it in here and I mix it in here to remind ourselves that we are one of, the, of a tradition of persons that have received baptism through the power of the Holy Spirit from the time of Jesus till present. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we pour out this water, put your blessing upon it. Remind us of the symbol of water in the life of your community of faith. How you used water in the time of separating the land from the, the seas in the time of creation. You used water in the time of Noah to save your people. You used the time of water in the time of Moses again to save your people as you parted the Red Sea. You used it in the time of Joshua to part the Jordan River. And you used it with Jesus himself as he came forth to be baptized by John the Baptist. Use this water this morning as a symbol of your love and grace. It's in your name we pray. Amen. In baptism, we ask two very simple questions. The first question is about the faith of those coming forth to be baptized and those sponsoring. And the second question we ask is about them raising the child in the faith. Likewise, we look for a congregational response, and that is from each and every one of you, that you are also making a pledge this morning to raise this child in the Christian faith. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and put your full trust in him? Please respond, we do. Do you promise to raise these children in the Christian faith? Please respond, we will. Come forward, just behind you right now. I'll take Amber. What name giveth you this child this day? Amber. We do this thing called the naming. And so, it's not that I, although I am absent-minded about names from time to time, the reason we ask the parents to state the name one more time is that since the beginning of time of baptism is that the naming was a part of this to remind us of the fact that God gives us a special name. And when we are called forth in heaven, it says in the book of Revelations that each of us will be called by our, our name, the one that Jesus gives us specially. Amber Renee Ashfield, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God keep you, direct you. No, you are. I'll be taking Amber out over here. And Chris, will you hold Amber for a little bit here? And then during our time when we share our response, Chris will bring Amber forward again. And as a symbol of each of us holding Amber, if you will, and uh, responding in love. What name giveth you this child? Thomas Raymond Ashfield. Thomas Raymond Ashfield. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God bless and keep you now and forever. Amen. Craig, would you hold Thomas here? Please, re please, as we um, respond to our, our reading together, members of the household of faith. Can we, uh, I'm sorry, put it on the screen up there? Thanks. Please read together. Members of the household of faith, I commend to your love and care this day. We this day recognize as a member of the family of God. Will you endeavor so as to live that this child may grow in the knowledge and the love of God through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Can you bring the uh, babies forward at this time? Let's now welcome our newest uh, children into the household of faith. <laughs> 